welcome. I'm Andrew Schmidt from the University Hospital in Leipzig and uh, we have a very interesting case for you here. Sven, do you want to show the case? Yes, thank you, Andre. Good morning, everybody. This is a male patient, 46 six years uh, old. He suffers from severe claudication of the left leg with a walking capacity of 150 meters. Um, he had uh, some uh, procedures already in the iliac arteries in December, as well as a TEA of the left groin in 2012. Now he has... Uh, SFA occlusion on the left side uh, causing his uh, complaints and this was tried to recanalize. You can see the uh, left SFA occlusion here in another hospital in November 2014. However, this recanalization attempt failed, um, probably because the guide wire there was, uh, fall was falling into a collateral here. So, um, yeah, our uh, attempt here is to cross this occlusion uh, maybe supported by retrograde uh, support and uh, yeah, use uh, a vascular track, a scoring balloon for predilatation and then treatment with a truck coated uh, balloon. Yeah. Maybe you show the next slide, so just to give you once again an uh, uh, yeah, impression of, of, uh, of our plan. So once we crossed with the Y, we want to use the, the vascular track balloon, long one, uh, um, to, to have a nice vessel preparation for next slide, please, uh, using then the drug gluten balloon here from Lutonix. And if we then next, please, have dissections, uh, we may be able to fix dissections not with stent implantation, but with these tags. These are very small. Small yeah, segments of stents, if you will call it like this, uh, just to fix dissections uh, where you have them to, to have an outcome with minimal stent implantation as possible. Yeah, and if you switch to the screen, actually, we worked already a little bit on that lesion and we passed the wire through already. Uh, we find it here, we found that this lesion is really a little bit strange. So, this patient had thrombant arterectomy of the left groin. And then there is this, um, is it an SFA residual of an SFA going down or is it a collateral? I find it strange that if surgery is done in a groin, this small tiny channel remains and doesn't close down. Uh, therefore, uh, and we were not sure whether this would be at the right track to go down. And in fact, obviously in another hospital, this failed to go down this um, collateral or remaining SFA to go through uh, the whole SFA because the wire always went into these small collaterals then arising from the distal end of this uh, straight uh, line down. So therefore, we tried it. Yeah, here you can see the outflow. The distal SFA is very narrow, not good filling, worse than uh, on the angle which we obtained here from the other hospital. And uh, the outflow, however, is okay here. Let me switch here. So therefore, we tried also uh, to go through this um, collateral down and our wire ended also in these kind of collaterals. And then we switched to a retrograde approach. Our typical way is not to change the patient position, but leave the patient supine and try to puncture here this distal SFA in a supine position. But you can see, because it's relatively collapsed, it was not easy to see. Eventually, that uh, we found a good position of our needle on top of the artery, so to say. Sveni so was injecting contrast, and I was taking the needle down. Blood came out of the uh, uh, needle. And then we switched from the right to left oblique and took our O18 wire in. And that nicely went in here. It's followed by a support catheter. And because it went so easily in, we checked by injecting through the support catheter that we were right, not in the vein, but we are right. And we took the wire a little higher up, uh, trying to meet here. Here again, you can see how the wire from undergrade goes only in the collateral. So we use this uh, card technique. So first, in different angulations, we tried to see whether both wires would uh, come close to each other. And we took a balloon in here and inflated this from above. Once again, moved the seam arm a little bit left oblique and right oblique to see that in all angulations, the wire from retrograde would really be close to the balloon from undergrade and then deflated the balloon here and usually uh, then uh, the wire from retrograde just
flies up and this was the fact here going nicely up here and we snared it here. You can see when we talk to Judkins, now we took a Judkins in from undergrade. When you talk it, you see the wire from retrograde is moving. The next step was, of course, here to take the wire in and uh, by this we had the wire passage done. This is um, the Judkins now goes down. We were redirecting the wire now from undergrade down. That's where we are now, yeah. And now we want to continue. So here you can see the result after the Vassal truck balloon. Looks already quite nice, I would say. Little dissection proximal and also in the mid portion a little bit. And here downstream also, I think, really quite nice. But uh, it shows us uh, we can take maybe a six millimeter balloon in, which we did here, just a moment. And this year is after the result, after three drug balloon balloons, Lutonics balloons. Again, this dissection in the mid portion, nice downwards. You see at the distal collateral, I think there is still a little bit of competitive flow from the collateral into the artery, maybe. So maybe, in fact, it's the small dissection, the mid portion is a little bit relevant. Um, I don't know. So therefore, actually, we decided to tack this little dissection here. Otherwise, if I go back once again, it's really, I would say, a very nice result here. Yeah, so... We want to take it here with these little rings of metal. Let me find here the right position. Somewhere here. Yeah, you can actually always put less metal in than also with this small uh, stent. Um, these tags are actually also not done for recoil or calcium. They have a low a resistive force, uh, therefore they are for dissections, for flow limiting dissections, uh, things like this. And you can see here four strong markers and in between those uh, four rather light markers, these are the little rings, metal rings, which we can deploy here one after the other. You can put one there and you can pull the whole system up and deploy the other one where you want to do this. So at the end, you definitely end up with much less metal than um, with a stent. So you see, I magnify very much. So when I pull the outer shaft up, first the first... Um, uh, device goes a little bit up just a moment. I have to reposition. So actually, the tag will come out where you see this bright marker here. Here, I would position the first one. Yeah, I think this is a correct position here. And uh, I close now the system and bring it up to where I think I should put the next one. Two. I think this is again a good position here. So it's like pulling the outer sheath back like in any other stand and it comes out. We postulate them. Uh, let me see how the collateral here looks like distally. How the flow is now. I think the, the, the pieces where we implanted them already, they really look quite nice and we could take another one in a little bit more distal. So here it comes, I will film this. I will jump a little bit down. Yeah, that's where I wanted to have it. Yeah. Looks nice. So in summary, we successfully treated a very complex lesion using multiple access techniques. And by using the vascular drug balloon to prepare the vessel, the Lutonics balloon to deliver drug, and then tacking up the dissection with the TAC endovascular system, we were able to achieve our goal of minimizing injury to the vessel and providing a durable long-term result while minimizing the amount of metal left behind.